How you doing, folks? What's up? How's everyone doing? Crash, you just sent me something. Oh, I hope you didn't go off <laughs> or run away. What's up, bro? Thank you. Thank you. I just noticed that that came in before I went live. I was like, oh my god, I need to go in there and say thank you. Thank you, bro. Your post disappeared. Which post? Which one? Uh, uh, not on Discord, right? Because uh, I haven't been over there. Uh, what's up? How is everybody doing? Welcome back, everybody. Let's see who's here. Uh, Crash is here. Uh, Kaylee. Why is salad? Uh, I don't know. Sorry, but I please have a salad. Uh, maybe later. Heather, what's up? Uh, please notice me. How you doing? Mandy. Fanny. Jillian. Talia. See through Gypsy. Hi, all oh, might not make the whole lot. I just wanted to say hi. Yes, and I hear that. I do hear that. So, what is up, everybody? Teddy Bear. First timer. Okay. Hey, it's always gentle over here. We just have a good time. We just have a good time. But everyone, welcome back to the crib. I have some things for tonight. But let me let me get into them. Okay, so first I want to play this video that Shani made. Yesterday it wasn't long. It was. It's titled "The Truth Is." Hmm. I think she. It seems like she believed that her trolls were her friends. And again, I'll say this. You know, to the day I die, the fact that her, what she calls her trolls, gave her money, got her out of the cold, took care of her parents when they were in hospice care, took care of her children, gave donations so they could eat. I mean, again, with trolls like that, who needs enemies, right, folks? It's a very interesting dynamic that Shani has. Likes to blame people, you know, as long as people listen to her. You know what I mean? Well, here, let's let's get into that. And thank you all for being here. And all right, let's go. Five fifty, right, Teddy Bear? Hey, I think the Streamlabs is working again. So yay, we can all play uh, heist, folks. Yeah, it's working. Look, I know, right? Right? It's a good sign. What's up, Toby? What's up, Boo? How are you, brilliant people, doing? I gotta say something. I don't uh -huh. want to do it, but you know. Hi, maybe the quiet. Hi, Eli. I got something I need to say. <sighs> Cause. All right, now let me just preface this with uh, reality. Shani is gonna say right now that she has a problem with people and their, you know, their relationship, whether they think it's disgusting or not. That's to me, that's not the point. What the point is how Shani was to all of us, men and women. About two years ago, Shani 
uh, flirted with everybody, including yours truly. And it was totally a disgusting sight. I thought it was sexual harassment to me, to me, because I did not want it. So I think it's funny, A, that she's talking about anything like that now. And B, um, I think she needs to play nice with certain people because I think she is using that pe uh, said person for their audience. Because if you really had a problem with somebody, you could just block them and keep it moving. But Shane doesn't want to do that. She wants to make like she's trying to be, you know, nice and neutral here, like kind of like me here. But the difference is Shane makes the problems and then tries to, you know, compartmentalize them. It's hilarious and very interesting. <sighs> hey, Julian. When the Lord tells you to do something, Hey, bro. Y you have to do it. Hey, cats. And I have to open up my big trap, and I don't want to open up my big trap. You know what I mean? You have to work this weekend? Ah! You'll get through it. Just keep focusing on that paycheck, and you'll get through it. Right? That's what I do. Focus on the <laughs> paycheck. Focus on the paycheck. Well, what paycheck? <laughs> she she means what she gets on Twitch. Um, you know, just for anyone who actually works. But like, paycheck? She thinks this is working. Do you want to start or should I start? I, okay. Go for it. Okay. Uh, I don't want to. Ha, ha. I don't want to do this. It's not It's not that bad. It's just weirdness. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> Look at Rev. And I, again, folks, I've been watching these people for a while. Rev can never help but be truthful. He can't. Even if he doesn't say something... His mannerisms and his tics tell it all to me. I don't think Rev likes the situation he's in, but he knows he's forced to go along with whatever politics Shani's into at the present time, whatever opinion she's into at the present time. If she wants him to stream, you better believe he will stream. Rev is a shell of his former self. It's really horrible to see how he is now. And like later on, I definitely want to find some older videos of him just to see the contrast difference of who he was then to who he is now. And I feel like showing old videos of both of them are important because I'm trying to establish behavior and I'm trying to establish the character. The character has not changed folks. She's a very manipulative person that has not changed. She will screw you over on a moment's note. She does not care. She uses everybody for money and she'll just turn on them as fast as she loves them. Just like her boyfriends. <laughs> just, just like Rev. To be honest, I don't, I, like, I, I, like, truthfully, I don't want to come at a state of offending. But at the same time, I know I will offend. So, it's, it, like, um, I guess you could also say I'm coming off. I'll be coming off as judgmental to people, but really, I don't give a fuck about that because everyone judges me, so don't be a fucking hypocrite. Um, but it has more to do with my faith than anything else, to tell you the truth. <coughs> um, all right. I, I, I want to wait until Drag is in here so I can address him to his face. Um... But he'll listen to this. He'll listen to everything I say. He hasn't listened to everything I say for 10 fucking years. In a weird, obsessive way. And I'll be honest, it's always made me feel very uncomfortable. Okay? Sure. Sure, Jan. Because to tell you the truth, I don't know this person. I really don't know him. Now, I always hate to hammer this home, folks, but... uh. What Shani's talking about, uh, how people view her, they're talking about this article. All you need to do is put in her name. Her name is public. Shannon Dornbush. It's been public. And don't take my word for it. Google it. The Daily Dot has a video that Kat Tenberg, uh, who I heard doxes people, not so good of a journalist, but she also covered Shani many times. She actually was... Uh, 
uh, very vocal in getting her demonetized because she thought her filming child abuse live in action in 4K was not a good look. And it wasn't. So this is why people have a big issue with her besides the, you know, racist stuff and the sexual um, harassment and all the time she's trying to coerce most of us uh, content creators. It's this YouTuber films her partner threatening to beat her son. That's why. So if anyone wanted to know, that's why. There's a whole article. There's several articles on it with all of us kind of included in that. So I just want to show you if anyone, you know, when she says that, now you know that's BS. Because that's why we all have a problem. And I I I'm going to be honest. It's going to be offensive to you, Drag. Sure, we can talk about Maybe birds. it's not because I don't know <laughs> if you can actually feel um other than what you want yeah um well like i said chris like i said in my last stream if if rev had to deal with this with his mom i'm sure that sucked right i'm sure that sucked but other side of that coin devil's advocate here wouldn't he say hey shanny stop smoking you know whether you know or you don't, whether, I, I mean, I don't know where, when her biopsy is going to be. I'm sure not soon enough. I'm sure not this week. But in the meantime, who would be like, yeah, keep smoking, you know, a hope for the best, you know, who put, you know, play Russian roulette with your life. Right? I don't like how you reviewed my OnlyFans several times and sexually harassed me and my husband. That <gasps> makes me feel uncomfortable. Um, I don't like how you enabled the harassment and and stalking of me for years i i it makes me uncomfortable you being in my streams make me feel uncomfortable and and, and what put me over the edge drag um what put me really over the edge what really made me feel very uncomfortable is speak with your heart scammy is karaoke <laughs> stripper okay let me make this clear with you. What day is that? Like, don't understand. This. <laughs> um, I really don't give a shit about what's going on in your personal life. Like you have been so concerned about my personal life. Like I go. really don't give a shit what's going on with you. That's better, right, folks? To be honest, I don't. And folks, if you guys do want to see the chat on the side, I think I did a better job at kind of centering that. I can, I could. Um. I, I could uh, turn off the uh, my chat on the side, so you just let me know if you want to actually see the chat. Uh, hey, see through Gypsy. Yes, uh, you you're right about that. Oh, nice numbers, Crash. <laughs> Crash Cooterkoot has just donated six dollars and sixty six cents through Super Chat. No talking about birds, people. No foul language allowed. What? Who the fuck said that? <laughs> Thanks, buddy. I love you. And if you're driving today, uh, please be careful, bro. You know, I'm, I'm always worried. She's jelly of everybody, uh, cats. She's definitely jelly. She's jelly all day without the peanut butter. Want to know what's going on with you, to be honest. Thank you, you bro. You've comfortable. You've, you've done a lot of things that have made my life very difficult. And you know it, but you're going to deny it. That's what people like you do. Um, because essentially, you're, you're cowards and you don't want to admit to all the conflict you created in life. So that makes me uncomfortable. Um, there we go. Okay, cool. With karaoke stripper, that went over the line. It went over the line because I, I, I was told by someone this is karaoke stripper, and she's drags other okay. women. Okay. Nice and picture, then I Patty. Her subscribing to me on my Instagram, and then she comes on to my channel. Well, right there. While you're there, Drag. It's weirdness. I don't... I do not want... Your other women... On my channel. Okay? That's so creepy, dude. It's That's so creepy. Why are you talking... To another woman... About two random people... On the internet? Why? And why are you sending your other significant other to us 
it, why are people telling me oh. about her? It makes me uncomfortable. Yo, I, I have no idea why. Oh, sorry. I have no idea why Streamlabs is doing that. Uh, somebody sent me that. Thank you. You know who you are. That's weird. I need to look into that. Um, there was something oh. sent to me that said that... 800 Ooh. bucks. I spent 100. Steamman gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Mindy Summers donated $5 did. through Super bucks. Chat. You are one of my favorite channels, the other day. Draven. So good. Love how you say, folks. Smiley face. Oh, thanks, folks. <laughs> Thank you, Mindy Summers. I appreciate it. And you know what else I appreciate? Having these um, videos when they go off. Because I swear to God, if you guys were just donating and the uh, the videos weren't going off, I probably would miss them. And because you guys are cool enough to give me a donation, I would never want to miss that. And I want to say thank you for the support. So thank you, uh, Mindy. Number one. Number two, I'll have to look into uh, Streamlabs more. Someone did tell me there was some new uh, uh, bullshit going out with uh, with some sort of language thing. So, I, you know, you guys know I'm not into that. So, I'm going to see, uh, I guess, after the stream or maybe even during the stream if I could fix that. But, uh, you know, because um, I was able to get the, uh, the bot back. But uh, now he's like, no foul language. I don't know. The bot's being uh, tight ass. Yeah, be quiet, Bob. He's saying I know, right? And but thank you, Mindy. I I I don't want to have anything to do with your life, your personal life or anything like that, okay, dude? I'll be honest. Like you infiltrated and and violated my personal space so much and and, and now you want to push push the boundary even further. And um, you bring us even more in your personal life and try to somehow engage us in some Yeah, I heard that, Jillian. When we have told you several times, we're monogamous. And you know, that's it's messed up, you know. I always say, like, I, I, I record I, the only way, like, you know, like my views are not as good as somebody as others, but they're pretty decent for me just being a solo person. I'm happy with what I have for sure. But uh, you guys uh, helping out and sending in super chats and cash apps, that it actually keeps me in the game. So thank you so much because I don't know what else YouTube's going to implement. It might go so far where I might have to uh, make a Patreon. Um, there was a sponsor that came out and they want they love my channel. They love what I do. Like I swear to God, I'm not making this making this up. They want me to be a. They want to be an affiliate. With a thing to, to get uh, people build up your credits, so uh, I'm gonna look into that. So we might have a sponsor in the near near future. But people actually like what I do because it's like more of a comedy thing, you know. And you don't respect that. Yeah, we don't want any talk of this harem shit. Yeah, that's the bottom line. <laughs> the harem stuff and that and this woman bringing this woman in to the chat is definitely part of that. We don't want that stuff. It's cool to come and chat about videos. That's awesome. You know, and it adds to the show and it's cool. But when you're bringing something like an affair, a side woman, which adultery, I, which, which, which in his case is different because they're in an open relationship. Yes. Okay. Um, I'll just say this on one hand, and this is why Shani's so dumb. On one hand, she can try to make that argument. Well, I, I'm not into that. It, it triggers me because I used to do type of that type of stuff before, you know, BR before Rev. But at the same time, no one has control over who comes into somebody's chat. That's silly. Anybody, you know, you can't say, oh, well, that person had control over that. That that's that's not true. So, you know, if someone could say we don't want to see that or you don't want to talk about that, but having someone show up and not show up, again, that's something that Shani can take care of because we all know here how much Shani loves to block everybody. But it's still in Jesus Christ eyes, it's adultery. Yeah, and it's a boundary. There's a boundary that's crossed with that. That right, like, as the host, like this is weird. That's what's going on here. So if you want me to say my piece, I'll just say this quick. I would say if you can be in our chat and you don't bring up the harem stuff, you're not bringing in that personal side chick weirds. And I, I, I also want to say this. 
you know, uh, I know Charlie's my buddy. Charlie's got my best interest at heart, I feel. And I know where Charlie's energy comes from a good place. And you know what, folks? If somebody's energy comes from a good place, that's all I need. And I know her energy comes from a good place. So I'll say thank you, Charlie, for showing me, you know, your level of loyalty, I'll say. Stuff they heard this night. I won't even say weird. I won't kink shame. None of that. It's your business. If you can keep that stuff out of here, then you're cool. But if you violate that, you're going to be gone. Right, Shani? Yeah. And this was his decision. Well, both. Yeah. We we looked at it. Oh, no, November. She okay. did. Very pleasant. And, and, and I want to respect that you've been pleasant. And, and, and. And 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 what well, November? What did you do to get blocked by the scammy? What what what? Ah, uh, it it's it's funny, you know. I mean, I know some people. Shani doesn't do some certain things. Let's just say without getting a few bits. And now it was told to me recently by a good friend of mine. Uh, some would say a, a best friend. Uh, they told me that uh. You could do an easy thing online. You don't have to even put money into it. Get 100 to 200 bits like that. Answer a few questions. So if it's free and you're not even oh. making spending money, what's the problem? Bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <gasps> 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <gasps> Me and me and Rev is Shane in the middle. Ah, no, no. I, I draw the line. There needs to always be a line crash, and I'm drawing it with permanent marker. Hell no. Not even on my worst day. Not even with his baby carrot and I don't know him pushing too. You know why not? Which would make like no sense because like nothing would happen. Which is cool. <laughs> Thanks, Crash. But last time we had the stream that that woman came in here, regardless of how. I mean, you know, sometimes I and I hate to be gross, but like if he's got a baby carrot and she has many levels to get to Shanty Town, probably nothing's going anywhere. They, you know, and that's probably why Rev never had children because he probably can't, you know, because it probably can't make it past the, you know, past the beginning stage. How you feel about it? <laughs> On our case, we feel like okay, there's a weird boundary that was crossed there. Okay. So we're letting you know that, that that was a boundary cross. So hey, Katie. can we keep it to the video? Katie, when you get a chance, uh, we should talk. That's all I'll say for now. Uh, we should talk. I think I know who you are and I'm cool with that. I never had a problem with you ever. I actually thought you were cool as hell. So if you're the person who I think you are, uh, I'm glad you're here. You've always belonged here. You never belonged with that stupid freako. <laughs> the crazy doxing fucking bastard <laughs> you know no life piece of shit that has her 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 healthcare worker working at mcdonald's you know uh walking her around oh my god i have court now with my lol cow stalker okay why don't you just leave it alone you idiot but yeah we should talk <laughs> we should talk katie because uh if you are who i think you are i'm glad you're here can we keep it to commentary on the videos and interaction with us and the audience? Can we keep it to that? If we're not, if we're going to go <laughs> to the personal sorry, stuff the harem and the women and this stuff. Let me see if I can fix it. it. Well, she came in and, and said that he had a small, you know, she said something about his member. And I just, it was just so off-putting. That's the first thing she says in my chat that I'm like, okay, I'm not going to deal with that. Well, drag, listen. Ah. The reason why I'm monogamous is because it. I never examined or never dabbled in polyamory. I have several times in my life. You did. Ew. Okay. I've been polyamorous several times in my life. And what I learned. All right, folks, folks, th this was. Here, yeah, I need to pause the music for a second. This was a Draven bad. My bad. I think I scrolled on a button. I just turned it off. It meant something else, folks. So please, uh, anybody, Crash, uh, please, you start. Be dirty. Crash, be dirty. Patty, 
be dirty. <laughs> Let's test it. We are testing this for science, folks. Not because we're sick mofos. It's for science. So please, guys, be dirty. I love you. You guys know you're my family. Let's go, community. <laughs> Everyone, everyone here at the Crypt, by the way, is my family. And please like, folks. And please subscribe if you're not. Subscribe to this family, this community that I love. And it's the only reason why I do it, because I fucking love everybody here. Ah, right, there you go, Mary Jane. Yeah, it works. Woo! <laughs> What's up? Boom! Fuck you, stream ups. <laughs> hey, Angie. See, here we go. Hey, Billy, what's up? All right, I'm going to play it. Yo, I'm so happy. Yo, seriously. Yo, can I just... Can I, I'm sorry with the yos. <laughs> I grew up in the 90s. But uh, aren't we such children, everybody? Aren't we such children that now we can swear again? Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you all for being here, man. You guys definitely put a smile on my face. From being polyamorous is someone always gets hurt oh, at the end of it yeah someone always gets hurt at the end of it and it never ends good <laughs> it always ends badly badly and because right? of those negative experiences i've realized it okay, works polyamory is not for me i am monogamous uh email okay you can send you can send a an email and then anybody else if you ever want to talk to me um privately because you know weirdos like to screenshot and weird shit like that they they have no life folks folks they have no life and they wear weird uh cockatoo bird hats on their heads and listen to 90s music being like yeah i just missed the case yeah i did yeah i did fucking freak <laughs> but uh yeah just send me uh uh an email dravencrypt at gmail.com oh thanks kenny <laughs> not like that oh i don't even know what he said yet patty i am scared i am monogamous see i i, I fixed and, it and there's gonna be a time <laughs> And I hate to say crash she wishes. Say this to polyamorous people, but there's gonna be a time where what if you fall in love with the other person more? And you don't wanna be with the other person anymore. That person's gonna get hurt. They're gonna feel rejected. Oh no. Smith so, is like eighties. I just don't like that talk per se. Okay, I I value monogamy. I value monogamy. Um, I don't <laughs> agree with a polyamorous <laughs> lifestyle because, in my experience, I just and, and seeing other Ravens Crypt. Come on, man. Oh, I paused that perfect. Billy donated two dollars through super chat. Don't, don't come for nineties music true. now. Tears of joy. Ravens tears Crypt. of joy. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I love nineties music, Billy. Thank don't you. Be saying you're God, you know that's not true. Ravens Crypt, come on. Hey, Cash, there's nothing there but a baby carrot. Nothing even a sniff. <laughs> hey, dude, bros, I see you. But uh, thank you, Billy, for the, for the two bucks. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. But yeah, I love 90s music. Other people's experiences, I see people hurt. And just because you haven't been hurt yet, doesn't mean you're not going to be hurt. And, and, and my heart is way too soft for that. Oh, let's hear about Shane and her 4D chess, and now her heart is way too soft for that. But she'll be brave at a moment's notice. Way too soft for that. I can't. I, I'm at the point in my life where I'm done losing people. What? And I'm not being closed-minded drag. I told you I've been polyamorous. Poor Rev. Rev has to sit there and listen to this and be so disgusted that he, you know, doesn't live like this and never did and very sheltered life. And, you know, maybe in some ways that protected him from like herp and thrush and, you know, uh, any type of uh, lice and stuff like that. But on the other hand, it's it stunted his growth of, as a human. 
He doesn't know how to take care of children. He doesn't know how to take care of himself. He doesn't know how to work on a car, fix something in his house. He is not a man. He is a boy. And he'll always will be a boy until he tries to at least attempt to learn how to fix something or even watch a YouTube video on how to fix something. I mean, people do it every day. Rev just doesn't want to try because why? You know, it's un Uncle Tommy can just bail everything out for him. So why, why try? But like, I just, I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to, I, I don't want to be part of that. And, and, and to me, it's very triggering to me because I have dealt with issues with um, sexual addiction. Okay. I'm kind of like an ex-smoker who doesn't like to be around smoke. You know what I mean? Ex-porn person. Or yeah, an ex-porn person who doesn't want to be around porn. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's that. It's that. Okay. I'm not that with porn, but I'm near it. I'm close to it. <laughs> I'm like that close to it. I already say porn's completely disruptive to society and the minds of men specifically. Uh, but I don't advocate for its being banned and stuff. I don't. Yeah. I said freedom of speech is freedom of speech and that speech. But yes, it 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 it, it, it <clears throat> is pressure in what they what drag's been kind of doing because he keeps talking about to to Jason. How it would be to be with another person. How would it be with another person? To me, you're like, who would you rather be with this person or this person? You know? Yeah, but isn't it silly? That is pressure in though. And that is trying to push your lifestyle on people who chosen not to have that lifestyle. Push lifestyle on somebody thousands of miles away who's never going to have that lifestyle. Shani. We know that Rev only has you, and he's only going to have you because you'll beat him into submission. He's afraid to even leave the house. You really think oh. like he's going to go out and cheat? Oh. 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Oh. All right, Kelly. Oh. 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Oh. Oh, Dana here has a sexist MO phone crew on this bitch, YouTube. Yes, I agree, man. Thank you. I agree. I agree, bro. <laughs> we have fun, bro. You know that. We have fun. It's a fun, chill, neutral community. And everyone can be cool. Leave everyone alone. That's all I ask. If they can't, then, you know, it's, uh, you know, uh, lots of luck to them. <laughs> That's all I'll say. We just want neutral here because all the other places there seems to be fighting. And obviously we're, we're adults, folks. We don't need that. I mean, we do sometimes, so we want to have a laugh. But we don't normally want to do it all the time. Well, that part of it, that part of it, though, Shani, is, is, is because you're talking about me here, okay? Mm -hmm. And I, I let me speak my mind on it because it's me you're talking about. Mm -hmm. That oh. part of it isn't bad to me. It, that's fine to me because I know I would never even think about it anyway. Okay? Yeah. It's, it, that's fine. I get that. Our problem is bringing this stuff that's in your life. This is stuff that's part of your life, Dre. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're you're bringing that stuff into a chat that there's no reason for it to be there. We're, yeah. We're not talking about you, Dre. We're not. You're an audience member, which is great. Yeah, but I think you're getting a little too personal. Yeah. You're crossing a boundary. That's. See, you notice the way she talks over him. That's how you can always tell if this is her argument. Even though she's trying to uh, include Rev, and Rev's even like saying, well, if it's my argument, I have something to say. But then she talks over him. So you know, this this is not coming from, this ain't coming from Rev's uh, thoughts. That's what I was trying to make clear. Yeah. Everything you've done is fine. Okay. You come in the audience, talk about videos with us, discuss it, and it's cool. That's awesome, of course. But why okay, man. that personal part of yourself we'll be here. when there's no reason for it? It's not, we're not talking about you, bro. You know what I mean? So... That's this is something that just had to be said on the channel. That yeah, it makes me feel uncomfortable. Okay, that's cool. That she, that's cool. She likes us, man. If she likes our content, that, I mean that's everything, right? But it's making me uncomfortable. Yeah, it, it's weird. It's just a weirdness. That well, what's weird to me is someone c claiming to have breast cancer, knowing how cancer works. That cancer obviously spreads. How stupid do you have to be to keep smoking that damn? cancer stick cigarette like really and that's kind of what really is triggering about her the most all i know is if i thought i you know if it was a done deal i have cancer 
no more cigarettes for me. You know, I'll go off tomorrow and get the uh, nicotine patch or the gum, anything over having, you know, a cigarette, which again can spread to other parts of your body. Throat cancer, real big. That the boundary was crossed. Hey, Jen, what's up? Gen T. We're talking about crime videos, interrogations, paranormal stuff, UFOs. Yeah, I don't want to know about your sex life, dude. No, that's not something <laughs> that we want to have part of the topics. It's just not. There's other channels that would love to do that, I'm sure. Like the Geek Room, maybe. You know, yeah. like, I'm sure they'd love that. The escapades of Dragon. You know, the, le the legend of the, dr the, the Dragon Lord's, you know, sexual escapades. I'm sure they'd love that shit. Well, Billy, it's, it's weird, you know? Like... Knowing people who have cancers, you know, including myself, no, you know, and and I'm pretty safe compared to like a stronger one. But knowing all this, I, cigarettes would freak me out, especially if my mom passed away from that. And my mother, obviously, to him, his mother was everything. His mother was his whole life. He didn't have a father growing up, obviously. Him and his mom, she left him all that money, and that was really irresponsible of, uh, from of her. But seriously, if if she did everything for him and that was his world, how can he allow her to smoke? Do you, you guys think that Shane manipulated Rev into thinking that it's not that bad to have a cigarette like every once in a while? Okay, that's not here though. And that's not our audience. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey Kathleen, what's up? I don't mind people coming on, you know? It's just like, it makes me feel uncomfortable when he's bringing people in his personal life and trying to bring them into my life. Yeah, and Drag, it's also the case also, dude, she didn't show up independent of you. I, I She just didn't, okay? You showed up and then she started coming around, bro. <laughs> like you're connected there. We just don't need that shit. We, we don't want that shit. Yeah. Just keep everything on the stream about the content and cool. That's the best I could say. Yeah. Like if that's respected, like, you're cool. Yeah. You could be. We'll just have fun. Have it. <laughs> Johnny Fappleseed. Now that's a name. What is up, bro? What's up? I don't even know you. I like the name. And you know, if I see a name, I will stop everything and be like, "Yo, that's cool." What's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for uh, hanging out with us, crazy people. But well, I'm crazy too. We're all crazy. You know. You want to talk about that stuff? Just do it in Discord or whatever, or someone else's channel. That's it. We're not interested. Yeah. No. I just. Do you talk to everyone about us, drag? Am I <laughs> constantly on your mind that much? See, this is the problem with Shani. This is not even anything about polyamory relationships or anything like that. She just wants to know how much Shani's being talked about in private circles. That's all that's about. Hey, Bunny. Bunny uh, Larice. I hope I'm saying that right. She says those cats' lungs. And yes, Bunny, I agree. Facts, 100%. This woman does not care. Just like she didn't care smoking with uh, her children around. Oh, and one of her child, uh, one of her children, yeah, they had asthma. Just a little tidbit. Mother of the year like, here. Dude. Dude, so, so okay, you go hey, to, mama. let me just get this straight. You go to a fucking strip club. And you talk about us to strippers? <laughs> you can't talk about anything else? Well, maybe he's like, yo, you uh, you guys ever seen a train wreck on the YouTube? Uh, in your downtime, you should check this out for some lols and some laughs, you know? I mean, come on, why not? Why can't we share the Shanny effect with everybody, Shanny? Maybe some other people need to uh, fix their life a little bit more and see what not to do. Especially when they have children. No. I'm sure that's not the case. I'm sure he'd rather talk about his career. Like, because he's got a cool career. That's what makes me feel uncomfortable. It's like a stripper you met at a strip club, and you're talking to us about strippers in a strip club. It's like, dude, is there anything else you talk about other than us? Like, I don't give a fuck what her profession is. I'm just trying to realize, I'm just trying to figure out where your brain is. Hey, you know what, Soren, as a, a smoker of a long, long time, not anymore, thank God, but a long, long time, I feel your pain. Some people say quitting smoking is the hardest thing to kick. 
out of all the drugs you know in the world it's like it's like quitting coffee you know it's something you don't think about as well yeah this is a, a really bad thing especially if you know if you have bad cholesterol or anything like that or if you're claiming to have a uh, cancer like a uh, scammy here my thoughts and prayers though to you man like i really am He likes sex. I mean, that's where his mind is at. <laughs> you know. God, I hope someday you get over that mindscape. He will. Where it, where you get all of that shit out of your system. He will. He definitely will. Because I got that shit out of my system in my 20s. He's dude. younger than us. Oh, I hear you. Not that much. No, he's not 35. That, not that much. But still, we got a few years on him. Yeah. A few years could be a lot with that shit. Uh... No, well, that, it's it's Streamlabs is a it's like cloud bot, cloud bot. It's a robot that's just I just throw like random stuff out because Shani says I know right, so I started saying that, and then we all started saying that. And I kind of made everyone start saying that. It got crazy. Also, another oh. thing I want to. Oh, why is that even smaller? He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. Why is it so small up there? Oh, 800 bucks. I spent 100. He man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. I don't know if you guys heard that, but it says, Please, Shane, wash your nasty hands. We're touching your rashes, your scabs, your booby craters. You are nasty. Oh, and your butthole, too. I know. The one she doesn't even wipe. Thanks, <laughs> Crash. <laughs> and if... I was watching her get up off the couch at uh, the last stream, and it was indented, and it was an oil stain, an oil slick. It was disgusting, bro. It really, it really got me sick. Um, what was I saying? I oh, don't know. I, I was saying something. Maybe it'll come back to me. Yeah, I'll just keep playing her. I'm not jealous. I'm not jealous. I'm uncomfortable. Do you get that? It's uncomfortable when someone brings someone from their personal life onto my channel to bring their personal life on my channel. I don't care. That's my problem. It makes me feel uncomfortable. And again, I don't think that that's what they're doing. She found me because I was reviewing you guys. I never met her in a strip club. Well, you talk about going to the strip club so much, drag. So that's where what we assumed. Okay, I don't care about your personal life. Okay, I don't. I could care less about it. It makes me feel uncomfortable, though. Well. Kathleen, did you just did you just did you just hear Rev coughing just now? And that's the problem with this whole thing. It's not just the cats. It's Rev who has bad asthma as well. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Crash, for sending me the uh, cash. App. I appreciate that, bro. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, let you know that. But uh, yeah, Kathleen, it's. It's, it's Rev as well. He has been having a nasty cough for over two and a half years. And that split lip. And Shani, and he has yet to go to the doctor. Because he thinks the doctor's going to steal his brain or something. True story. <laughs> well, what you guys are saying is telling me a lot. More than you know. Right? It's a ton. She's a ton. I don't want to have anything to do with drag. I don't think you quite get the point. I never did. No, there's some new kind of dynamic happening where he's being decent. So it's like, okay. Yeah. But then it's like, push a boundary, push a boundary, push a boundary. Yeah. And then Dude, that's a troll. Down. Push the boundary. It's a it's a troll just like it was a troll last year and the year before that and the year before that. Come on, Shani. You know that. 
But again, you don't want to get rid of him because you don't want to uh, get rid of any of his fan base. I know how you think. You know, you want to just give uh, a, a bunch of chances, but it seems like your mind's made up with this, but you're just going to keep going. That's how Shinny does. If someone has a big uh, online presence, she's going to keep them as much as possible until her uh, until her mom, mom, mom mentals get involved and make her, uh, you know, block somebody. There's a sex thing here. Yeah, and I'm, I, like... <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's just sex, sex, sex. It's just... Yeah, it's... You got an issue. You got an issue. All right, Jay, Mama. And, 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 uh, and that's not kink shaming. It's just saying... It, it was just a, a video I, I was starting off before I get to the main video of it was a Shani saying the truth is that she had a problem with uh, Mr. Dragnot uh, about his uh, about his lifestyle, even though it's basically about who he she thinks that he allows to be on camera or, or not on camera on in inner chats. And again, if two people live far away, I can't control somebody that I'm not around to be in a chat or not. That's not that's not my business. If someone wants to watch someone or support them, that's not my business. You know what I mean? Or if they want to give bits to them to make them uh, talk about something or show a picture like the picture the other day. It's par for the course, folks, because what's the alternative? Boring true crime streams. You know, there is a method to this madness. Like, there's an issue. If that's all on your mind, there's an issue. If that's all that comes out of hey, your mouth, never mind, there's up? an issue. Yeah. That's just true. Just... And it's not that I don't wish you be best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, maybe? It's not that I don't wish yes. you to have prosperity, wealth, love. Uh, Katie, um, I have a uh, Discord uh, with the members. So when anyone becomes a member of Draven's Crypt, they can go to my community tab in my members tab, and then there's a link to get into the uh, the members Discord. It's just easier that way because then people don't want to, you know, play games or anything. Love, happiness, joy. I do drag. I wish you the best in everything. It's just you've done way toward too much toward me and my family. You've put our family in danger by the doc doxin and everything. Oh, they got um, four. That sucks. <laughs> we were talking about the habitat, man. And that I suck at this game. Really hard for me to get past. It. it the things that have been done, it's it's very. Yo, Patty, you got two thousand six hundred seventy-four. Yo, can you, can you uh, lend me like six hundred? <laughs> nah, you can keep it. Those are your weddings. You want them fair and square. Very hard for us to get past. Very hard. It's not that we don't forgive you for this stuff. We do forgive you. Yeah. It's just you're push pushing boundaries. Period, and you're making us uncomfortable. Yeah. And it's time for you to like. Just finally, just. Well, yeah, yeah Charlie. I, I like I like true crime too, but like uh, that chapter, he is awesome. He's the best. True crime, that chapter, no one touches that guy. He is the best. But uh, you have to, you know, know what you're watching and have good commentary. You can't just show and be like, "Wow, that's messed up." He really should get a plunger up his butt when he goes to jail. I mean. it's... Uh, okay, you have anything else about the case? No? You know what I mean? Way, I go my way, and we do our own thing, and we live our lives. You know what I mean? Where's her way? <laughs> so, I'll be back in a little bit. I'll let you think about oh, it. Oh, thank you, Kitty. I appreciate that. And, um... It's just too much, I think, of boundary pushing. You know what I mean? All right. Okay, so that was that. But like I said, I just want to say, as far as when it comes to Super Chats, Super Chats memberships, you know, you guys are doing the best to, uh, you know, give me something like that. I want to make sure that I'm seeing that. So I'm, I'm always... I'm always doing stuff like that to make sure that, uh, that that's happening. All right. So let's get to the, the, the main event video. This one. All right. And I think from now on, I'm going to have it like this. This way you can 
see the uh, sh uh, Shinny side chat a lot more. What's that, Shinny? Wait, I think Shinny just said something. Food! I have to have food! Okay, I'm sure people will bring it to you. Not started yet. I'm just getting everything all fucking ready. <laughs> Alright, Luna, what's up? Ew! Luna C, how you doing? Luna C, that's great. <laughs> you think Chantel is gonna take this kindly? Oh, uh, no. No. She's gonna rage. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could I could see her doing that. Hey Patty, is this is this the one you gave me with the uh with the uh timestamps? This video, right? With the uh reviewing Canadian horror story. Canadian horror story. So there you go. Once again, what did I say? It's either Shani's got to talk about uh, other creators or Foodie Beauty. That's it. Her, her biggest obsessions. The kids, well, whatever. She already lost them. You know, as long as she has those two cats and Rev's getting Delta M8 money every day, she doesn't need nothing but to talk about creators and to talk about how Foodie Beauty should be coming home any day. I actually, didn't she come home already? That's what I heard. Yes? Okay. So I'll, I'll go to four minutes. Ain't that fucking cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm in it, man. I'm the new Easter Bunny. What? <laughs> oh. There you go. Man! Oh my god, what is that? I'm, I'm in it, man. I'm the new Easter Bunny. <laughs> There you go. Yo, it's like well, George Burns. Ever, <laughs> anyone ever use a razor to shave their legs? Like an actual razor to shave my legs? Like an actual, not like the razor for legs, but an actual yeah. razor razor. Oh, 40 chest with Shani. Ain't it great? Huh. <laughs> I don't believe I ever fucking did that shit before, man. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? One sweater into another sweater. Rev wears the same sweater. He don't give a crap. You know, whatever. He stank. He know. He knows it. He's he's uh. He ain't trying to hide it. He'll wear that Star Wars sweater for the next like three weeks, guarantee. But Shani, so mix between the fearless nasty sweater, the champion uh. Uh, combat fatigue one and her moo moo uh, jacket or her moo moo her moo moo gray thing i don't think i've ever done that shit i got scared of him i would oh I she's still Cheetos. there okay i don't But I haven't shaved my legs in a long time. I really don't care anymore. You're putting Nair in Janice's shampoo? Oh my God, that happened in the military when we were going through separation. One of the- Oh, 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 that's right. Guys, please, please uh, listen to the bull crap. Um, okay, so I find this next part and everything else she says up until this part extremely fascinating. Why? Because let me just fill you all in. She didn't graduate. She didn't graduate high school. No good enough diploma. No GED. No PASCO. No collect $200. So with that being said, she can't be a weekend warrior. She can't go for the Army, Navy, Air Force, or Marines. And you know what? YouTube already has a problem with people talking about their stolen valor and that they were in the service. And most of these people weren't even weekend warriors. And I find that extremely offensive when they try to claim that they were in the military, but there is no proof that they were. So let's please listen to Shani's uh, story coming up about her time in the military. And just remember to yourself, it's all made up or it's from a movie. The girls put Nair and the girl in the girl's hair. Look That's at Rev. Oh my God, the screaming. It was just this scream. 
in the middle of the night, she pulled out a whole chunk of her fucking hair. And she screamed. And we're still in the military, okay? We're just going in separation. So we're all in bunks together, okay? Right? And then the fucking petty officer came out. And like, seriously, like, don't take my word for it. Find out if you just drop out of high school, are you allowed to get even into the Air Force? Because usually the Air Force takes anybody. But like, seriously, look into it and see, see what happens. And we all jumped out of the bed in the middle of the night and just... Yeah, uh, right? <laughs> just shaking like, holy fuck, we're going to fucking get fucking just so fucked right now. Okay, yeah, right? Cindy says right here, thank you, Cindy. how they even get Nair? Exactly, exactly. You know, when you're in boot camp, you're in boot camp. They'll kick your ass if you have a cupcake. Get, forget Nair, which could be, you could poison somebody. You know, it's, she doesn't realize how stupid she sounds. No. Ugh. They're going to make us drop. I just fucking know it. But no, the, the petty officer, what the hell is going on out here? <laughs> yeah, and I'm we're sure. Just like, and then it finally, the person crying and freaking out finally spoke out and said what happened. And then the person got in trouble and she said, you get in my office. Yeah. Right now. Everyone else can go to sleep and we're like, oh. Because usually if someone gets punished, we all get punished. And Red believes this stuff. <sighs> There's some wild shit that can happen in separation. All the girls were in the showers licking each other's gooches. What? Oh, yeah. stop it. What? Yeah. <laughs> Look at Rev. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, Rev is a hornball, man. Rev is a hornball. In separation. All the girls were in the showers licking each other's gooches. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. Yo, be careful, Rev. Yeah, Dude, look at her some face. Hot fucking military shower scenes I've seen. Yo, that's the face of a semi, folks. Just, 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 you know, for you, for you guys, you know, FYI. Oh, and I remember the one time I was like, I was like sitting on the dryer because we were doing laundry. Oh, and, stop. And, and then a bunch of the lesbians came over because they were getting kicked out for being gay, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a bunch of the lesbians came over because, you know, they were already kicked out because, you know, you know, gay, obviously. And, and they were just like, hey, you want to just like be, you know, lesbian together? This is great. Oh, thank you, Crash. Yes, Crash. Welcome the new members. Yes, and please, new members, uh, my best friend, my best online friend here, uh, Mr. Crash, he just donated five uh, super or memberships for a month. Uh, he's definitely the one to thank. She acts it, Sammy. Oh, I will keep watching. I just wanted to uh, congratulate everyone who just got a member. So, congratulate everybody. Uh, okay, so for the people that... For the people that... Uh, oh, Ella. Awesome, awesome. Awesome. That's cool. You got it. you're now you're now you can be in the Discord. And, and everyone else is awesome. Uh I, I know I said that before. Uh if for anyone new, A, if you don't have to accept gifts on the crypt here, you just click on that present thing and it'll say a lot of accept gifts just on my channel. You gotta do it on each individual channel. You click yes, number one. Number two, um, it's a temporary one month thing. You don't have to worry about it. It cancels automatically if you don't keep the membership going. But you know, if you like it, you should. Uh, yeah, everybody. Uh, if there's if there's a troll in the chat. You guys with the with the uh, with the uh, wrenches. You know what to do. 
You know what you do. But I know how to tell you. I know how to tell you. We all know what to do. They, they tried with me, and I'm just like, I'm 17. I have never been with a woman before. Oh. Um, come on, girl. Don't you want to suck these titties? And they, if they were hanging their titties in my, it was all holy shit. <laughs> Rev. What? Yeah. Wow. No way. Whoa. Horny fucking lesbians getting kicked out of the military. Now, again, maybe this is, you know, what people wouldn't like about Shani. Besides the child abuse and, you know, abuse of people, manipulation, sexual harassment, all that. Say everyone was okay with all the other things. Maybe you are a uh, gay or a lesbian. Maybe you are. And you hear this person, you're like, uh, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Well, I'm very sorry you get to hear this and that she's so full of shit. My heart goes out to you. I didn't know what to do. I was 17. She's so full of it. But yeah. It, it does, doesn't it? But it actually happened. I, I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was freaking out being sexually harassed by all these horny ass lesbians. Being kicked out of the military. I was being kicked out because I'm fucking crazy. No, no, because you're lazy. It's not gay if you... How was he supposed to help? I didn't know he existed. No. I was 17. I missed all that crazy fun shit. <clears throat> I missed it. I, I, I got her older in life, so... That stuff's over with. You missed the freaky... The freaky... All of it. Missed yeah. It. All of it. Yeah, poor Rev. Poor Rev. <laughs> He'll keep referencing old Shanny forever because he wants to get into that time machine and get back to 1999 and get his Shanny because he's, I think he's more in love with that picture than the current Shanny. I don't know. Something just tells me. You with Sam? They are just lessons. They just didn't move. Yeah, that's probably it. That's probably it. But like, we, we got along. <laughs> it was nuts. Wow. It was nuts. But I tell you, after that experience, I sure was like, what if I actually did it? You know? A shower full of orgasming, orgasming lesbians. <laughs> when they get caught, it, it, caught by the petty officer, it's so fucking funny. You girls, you stop that right now. Hey. That's, that's literally what they say. They, when they see them having sex. Well, they got kicked out because of it. They were having sex in the middle they of the night. Kicked out. Yeah. Hmm. That was Fraternization with her. Well, the thing is, one of the girls was actually married to a dude and she had a baby. Wow. But she was like, you know what? This is my first experience and I really enjoy it. So, like, go with it. You know, like, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then one night you hear them discussing, do I do do I do I you in the night? She's like, no, like, I'm a period. Okay, but you can do me, right? Oh, my God. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, stop. It's, you know, folks, this is a lie. And I'm just surprised more people are like, Shani, you, you didn't go to military. You didn't, you know, you didn't. They don't take people who just drop out of high school because you say that your principal try to, you know, harass you and you had to get out of that situation. Like, do you forget everything you say? You don't think people know that you have to graduate first before you go into any military setting or boot camp setting? It's just fascinating that Shani is always the hot one getting hit on by women and men and everything else. Like, you know, she was a model. It's fascinating her mental illness. Yeah, like <laughs> Navy, Catfish, Navy. You want to fuck going to the Navy? Up in Great Lakes, uh, Illinois. Oh. <laughs> you never had a hoe phase? Oh, I did. Oh, I did. I've had like two hoe phases in my life. The two first one was when I was about 17, 18, and then I went like celibate. And then the second one was after my divorce with my first husband. Right. And then after that, no more hoe for me. No hoe. Nah. No hoe. <laughs> Rev looks uncomfortable with the lady love talk. No, not at all. <laughs> hey, Raku, man. <laughs> not at all. He, maybe because he knows it's, it's BS. And again, uh, you were acting like that when Rev got first got with you. That's why you were flirting with women on online and stuff. And Rev was like, I guess we're a debauchery family now. I remember that. 
I watched tons of lesbian porn when I was watching porn. Are you kidding me? I bet you did. No, I'm not uncomfortable at all. I said Navy. In the Navy. Yeah. She's trying to make it like it's like 1960. <laughs> Watermelon's got a little sunspot on her. She's a good girl. I find it so interesting how cats sit in sunspots. Yeah, I know. They like to absorb it, I think, into their skin. Yeah. Because they feel healthy. It's like, ah, vitamin D. Yeah. Ew. Jules, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about that. That must have been a tragic experience for you. <laughs> anyway. So folks, is uh I'm just wondering, is the uh is the uh the heat still not working or did uh the Tommy the uncle actually go there to try to fix it? Hi, Iconic. Ugh. So anyway, since wieners are being talked in the audience right now for some reason. <laughs> like, I wonder, does Shani even know or realize that uh, Stolen Valor is a... Is a what you call a uh, punishable offense? Because it is one hundred percent, absolutely is. You can't go around saying you were in the military and all this was going on because you're lying, and it makes the military look bad. Like, oh, what they they can't take care of their own uh, when when they're doing you know in boot camp. So yeah, I I hope that that comes back to bite her in the butt. Positive for her. Yeah, because because when you pick apart a person like this, it quickly becomes, come on, why would you even mention that? Yeah. Or come on, why would you even talk about someone you don't even know like that? Yeah. But did you ever <laughs> consider that maybe she's the way she is and so reactive and defensive is because you dogpile her like this? I yes. I, I say it about you. And you guys know that. I say it about you. What came first? Shani talking crap and saying the moon is a uh, hologram and cheese and all that? Or Shani maybe... Testing the waters, people messing with her, calling her a cow, and then that kind of paranoid made her a cow. I think a little bit of both, but I still think that people, you know, mental illness is not an excuse for irresponsibility. Mental illness is not an excuse for abusing your child and especially trying to monetize that stuff online. You know, I don't care if it's the slowest year. I would never, I would never put a kid online to monetize them, monetize their, their, you know, their, their sadness. That's awful. And I especially want to tell a kid that trolls, uh, like Queen of Spades does, and like Shani did, trolls are going to go outside and hurt them as soon as they step foot on a sidewalk. To me, that is paranoia that a child does not need. Facts. I think so. But has she always been like that, you know? Yeah. Has she always been very reactionary? And she, if she's BPD, yeah, right? Yeah. Undiagnosed BPD. Undiagnosed BPD, she would be... Very reactionary. Very, yeah. Just, you wouldn't like her. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just like right. she doesn't exactly. understand. Sorry, she can't, she's not aware enough of her emotions or behaviors that she can't... Like, when you go through dialectic behavior therapy, it's called dialectic for a reason. Because you literally have to separate yourself from yourself and evaluate your own self your own behaviors. and your own behaviors, your own emotions, your own moods to control behavior that bothers others. It's that's difficult though. Cause that you have to be objective on yourself, yep. mm -hmm. like, like outside yourself objectively looking at what you're doing. Yeah. That's why they do it in a group. And you know, another problem I have with this is that these other creators, when their kids are sitting there watching their mom or dad or whoever is the YouTuber, lol cow, Go online pretending to be a home health care worker. Go online pretending to be CPS. You don't think that child is looking and going, oh, that's what I have to do to get my point across. This is what I have to do to see if I'm important in the world. Stage my, you know, end and then pretend I'm a reporter and see if anyone's talking about me. That's low-cow mental illness, folks. 101. I mean, really. 
you've you're at you're in the trough at that point said and so they can be like oh i get it this behavior is like this so See? yeah i don't think i need that because i think i'm self-aware already that as soon as i've done something that's shitty i know it yeah like i am self-aware of that but you're not self-aware enough to not, do it, not do it in the first place right that's that's the thing when you feel you're about to do something wrong or yell or anything yeah and you and you know what lisa if anything ever happened and someone google everyone was trying to say that i was harassing shani or wherever i've already told them i have a thing that i made up and, and me and renee made up we call it the shani effect that we talk to people show what she does and then people all of a sudden want it better in their life and then also people like you they come in and um talk amongst their selves ab ab about what's happening in their life nothing to do with shani at all so we take this negative turn it into a positive and then usually it ends with everyone sharing their own stories and that's something that shani and not google could ever take away from us they even teach you how to look at the physiological responses you have. Are you breathing heavily? Right. right. Do you feel like there's something in your gut? Yeah. You know, are you feeling like this rush of energy coming at you? That's interesting stuff. Yeah. That's really AI brought twins. But with all, with the therapy, it just, it really does like change how you think about reacting and stuff. You pre-react. Yes. By the cues of the way you're feeling. Yes. Wow, that's brilliant shit. I'm going to use that. When I feel myself getting agitated with 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 anything, with this or you, or I'm just going to like walk up and just take a breath. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and start doing that like all the time. Okay. Hey, grass right. Yeah. Why do you feel this way? Wait, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you feeling that way? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought you were already doing that. I I thought that's what the 13 days in jail and the court appointed therapy that you and Shani both said you did and got a certificate for. <gasps> okay. I guess that's a lie. Bucks. I spent a hundred. man gave me the best dick the other day. It was so good. <gasps> Crash Cooter Goot donated five dollars for a super chat. The best dick the hey other people, day. It was so I'm good. going to bed. It's been a long day. Every one of you are beautiful. Every one of you are special. I love all of you. Oh, thanks, bro. I appreciate that, Crash. Uh, I know you do. Uh, it gets very tiresome out there, and I know you have a dangerous job, and it can be dangerous driving all the, all night. And the love is reciprocated, bro, and I'm sure it's reciprocated with 90% or more in the chat right now. So everyone, please say goodnight to Crash Green Green Hearts because remember, I'm also from the trauma community. Trauma strong here. Trauma forever. That's my uncle Lloyd Kaufman right there. So, you know, we always do horns or green hearts. Either way, that's the sign for the crypt. But uh, let's uh, let's keep going. But uh, have a good night, bro. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah, exactly. Why do you feel attacked? Because that's usually with me what it is. Mm -hmm. Like if I feel attacked, then the anger comes in. Or like, well, what the fuck are you talking about? You know? Counting back to 10 aggravates me, but it does seem to calm the mind. If that does yeah, work. she has schizoaffective disorder. Yeah, that works with me. Yeah. The longest a panic attack normally goes at most is 10 minutes. Yeah. I, God, that feels like an hour though. Oh my if God. Panic attack. Yeah, it feels like forever. And you just can't stop your mind. The internal dialogue doesn't stop Yeah. in a panic attack. I try to flip perspectives. I have OCD and thought spirals, so if I try to see the other side of the box, sometimes it helps. Okay, that, that sense. sounds like a good thing. Yeah. Changing of the mind, that's good. That could stop your spiraling. Yeah. Because you get to the end first and you're like, okay, I'm done. Oh, bless your heart, Mountain Mama. Oh, God bless you, Drag, when I feel my sad sociopathy acting up. I try to remember that other people actually matter. Well, there you go. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> there you go. God bless you. <laughs> it's a good thing you recognize it, definitely. That's a good thing. My feelings matter. I get better every single day. <laughs> Don't say it, but just, yeah. Ah! Uh. <laughs> we gotta read that. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> we got some more extreme gruesome shit. Uh, all right. <laughs> Be mad. Be mad. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and stomach the unsettling way she eats and her propensity for discussing bodily functions in great detail. Oh. Find some 
Yeah, they have a fridge right here. We should do Sonomas. Because I want a Sonoma. You know what? I know, I know I don't know, talk about Pete's that much, or well, Food and Beauty and Pete's. I think they have just like a weird relationship because I know Pete's is kind of in love with uh, Food and Beauty. They still kind of live together. So I don't know if Pete's is just getting kicked out. Why don't you say let me know? That'd be great. But I do feel like they have a weird type of whatever you want to call it relationship. to be with her in order to maintain their citizenship like her current uh <coughs> boyfriend current well this is uh, three oh this is three this years. is old <coughs> but see he's just assuming that's because of it he's got a work visa he works in canada can we update the people on what chantal says about bb now my god <laughs> she's racist she's so she calls black men you <laughs> what about you black men are gross is what she said i can't believe she said that shit. yeah i can't believe she said that i don't doubt it I bro smacked right in the face it's like because I've always defended her and say she's not a racist. There's no way she's a racist. She was with this man for you, she said, seven years. Got she smacked. And she just straight up says, <laughs> I don't even want to say it because it's so offensive. Yeah, I know. How does she keep her channel? I don't know. Could you imagine if me or you said what she said? Yeah, I know. Like, what did Charlie Gold say about that? Holy shit. I, I see your point, Drag. Having sex with someone from a race you don't like doesn't absolve you from racism. Yeah, you know, Drag. Right. I, I, like, I didn't think that was possible, but I see it now. Yeah, I see it with myself, too that white superiority shit and you know I, I see that with myself because I've evaluated myself okay but how do you do like that? I don't because it's it's systematic racism it's not our fault per se it's just how our culture was so because mm -hmm. of systematic racism like white people have this internal racism in them that they don't even realize and and that's why you're, you're having a bunch of other races try to educate us on it so we is this supposed to be like Shani's excuse on why she is the way she is? Because that's a, that's fascinating as well. I love that. Uh, I was racist because oh, first of all, she she was grow, uh, born in the '90s. Now it's like, well, I couldn't help it because I'm just this is the way I am. They feel like they can be in a system where they feel like they're not being made fun of. Does that make any sense? Uh, no. no. Rev, say I can no. Tell you for a fact, okay that I have never felt in myself that I am superior to anybody like BB. Oh, I know like... you're taking it like that, but that's not what systematic racism no, is. No, I know that. Just because I'm white, I have more opportunity than blacks, and that's... And it's true. Through the, you're, that's true. Especially I... in the healthcare system and in the prison jail system. Yes, there, that's undeniable. <laughs> There's no doubt that that, that uh, statistic... I did that because they are clowns. They're both clowns. Uh, what did Shani do? Maybe a day, maybe two days in a county jail? How would she know? If anyone knows anything about actual jail time, it would be Reb doing 13 days for what he did to uh, Shani's son. Please speaking, I am more privileged than a person like BB because of his skin color. Yep. That's true. I acknowledge that. Okay. Yeah, you see how it is in jail. But I'm saying personally, from my mind, I've never felt superior to anybody because they're that color and I'm this color. Yeah. I've never felt that way. Yeah. We're just people. Then why do you go for the lowest hanging fruit when you get mad? I get that's what they teach, but the government also keeps certain groups of people in systematic position. Exactly. That's in the jail systems yep. and in the medical systems. Right. That's what I'm talking about, Logan The jail, yeah. 100%. I couldn't believe what I saw in the jail. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. It was, there was like five white guys. Yeah. And I saw dozens and dozens and dozens of other races with them. And you know what? Uh, too bad Crash is, uh, had to go to sleep because... If anyone could talk to you about jail, I know I'm not I'm not a singling him out because he talks about it all the time. It would be him. I mean, you know, for obviously a long, 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 long time ago, Crash is a good boy now. But uh, even he'll tell you what, what Rev says is, you know, Rev didn't do any type of real jail. He did wimpy jail where you know it's short term. No one's gonna do nothing to you. Yeah, mostly Hispanic and black. Yep, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. It is. They bar. That's wrong. They are preyed upon because they're that group of people and they go, oh, that's a criminal. That's really messed up. Yeah. That's disgusting. What's up, Barbie? So, like, I really Barbie. evaluated myself and and realized that, yeah, I I, I, I have been racist. And I no. That, and I'm sorry for that. <laughs> and I hope it never happens again. You know? I hope it never has. You know, I have. I, I still have don't been. see how you've been racist, personally. But I have been. What? You okay. know, so, like, I... <sighs> okay. But now you love black people. I love everyone. Yo, says the guy that had to give a house to G-Man because Shani just couldn't control her mouth. 
But Rev still doesn't see how Shanny's racist. Okay, folks, if you believe that, I don't know. I got a bridge to sell you. I, I have always loved black people, but at this, at, but I didn't realize what I was doing. Well, what were you doing? I'm trying to understand. That. Well, if I got super mad at like a black person, I'd throw the N word at them. Well, right. Yeah, okay. that, that's well, racist. Well, obviously it is, but it's not because of the skin color you used it. It's because of the person, and they pissed you off. Yeah, but because they were that color. Yeah, I knew it would hurt more. That's why I did it. Yeah, I know that. That's racism. Yeah, I guess. You so. see how little how I guess it systematically yeah. got implanted in us. Like I, that? I get it now. Yeah, I totally get what you're saying. So. Now. You used that hurtful thing deliberately, and that was racist. Yes. I get you. I do. Yeah. And that's the theory of systematic yeah. racism. I'm guilty, too, because I did it with drag. Yeah. And Because I, I never use that word normally. Yeah. I never use the N-word normally, ever. Um, hello, you were in my chat, and you got mad because uh, Monty, from Hannibal Monty, please, anyone, check out uh, their show. Some fun stuff over there. Um, he was... He, he called Shani trash because, let's face it, she is. So uh, Rev uh, saw a point to uh, be really uh, nasty on my stream. And, and he said, I quote unquote, gave him an opportunity to do something fun. So uh, that's a lie. I don't know if they just don't remember or they want to dummy their audience into thinking they're not as bad as everyone tells them they are. But thank God, these days, no one really believes the audience on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I think it's neither do I. Yeah, neither do you. Yeah. Because we think it's a shit word. Yeah, I do. And I, I, I love black people. But I see it now. I get it. Yeah, me too. And I'm sorry. Me too. I'm right. sorry too. Very much if Dragnaut's in there, I'm really sorry about that. Yeah. That was bullshit. Yeah. I get it now. But man, when we were first here, I was she really need bad. She needs to learn that too. Like, every all of us. All of us white people need to learn that. Like, all of us. Because it's not particularly your fault. It's just the culture we grew up in had that in our spectrum, you know? So get it out. Cleanse yourself of that. <sighs> That's icky, yucky. Ugh. It makes you feel gross. I feel really gross over that. Yeah. And I am so sorry over that. Yeah, but the, the problem, folks, is it's not just it's not just one race that Shani's done this to. It's all of them. All of them. What she said about the Na Native Americans was... You know, uh, was horrible, and she doesn't understand. It's just it's all the races, because that's just how Shani is. If she needs to describe something, she's gonna do it. You know, with the low, lowest hanging fruit. She can't describe anything any other way. I don't know if that's from learned behavior or that's just who she is inside. But I think it's funny that she's like she's trying to blame it on how she was uh, raised and the in the culture brought her to be like this. Yeah, like we love. Please like and words. subscribe, yeah. folks. How can you love black people and she be? Just explained I it. just explained it. She literally just explained it, and and I didn't understand it, but I do now. Yep. I didn't myself get how you were racist, but I get it now. Yep. It's those little things, yep. like little, like little things that we don't talk about. We don't really get per se, but it is in us. But also, you should give yourself the leeway also of making people understand that you were hundred percent triggered by what that guy said. Oh yeah, completely. Uh, well, you know, what? um, I, I will November. I I have some more somewhere, but here I'll while I play this, I'll, I'll grab a little qu uh, uh, quick uh, clip of Rev when he came onto my stream unprovoked, too. I didn't even want him there, and he just started being nasty. Like a, a one second, I should have called him a piece of shit. Yeah. Well, when you said it, because it was on my stream. Yeah. When you said it, I was like, oh, what did you just do? I lost it, and I'm so sorry. Like you could, I'm sure the videos out there. I was. I'm not. I'm not. It. I'm not a good person all the time, and I'm certainly not a never perfect person. But like, <laughs> I learn from my mistakes. You were flaming, Matt. You weren't just angry. You were really mad. Yeah, I was really mad. I wanted to say the most hurtful thing I could possibly say at and someone. That's what you did. I did. That's what you did. I honestly admire you taking accountability for your past behavior and reflecting on it. Some something we don't see much of. So, props to you, Shani. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. So, uh, uh, Shani, uh, you can just look it up uh, on uh, Fat Courtney Love. She has a, a couple of videos of her doing this, but this one I actually have saved because it was on my channel. Of Rev being kind of nasty. So here, check this out. He's a fat person. And don't worry, I, I have it. Um, I have it blocked, uh, but you can tell through his mouth what he's saying. Fucking bitch titted. What? What the fuck? Yeah. 
that was not good. And that was Rev being Rev. So him saying that he only did it one time with Drag. Yeah, well, that's a lie. He did it against Monty. <laughs> My God, Drag. Jesus. Now, <laughs> Drag. Speaking of systematic racism, you have systematic racism in you, too, that you need to evaluate. We have oh. to evaluate it. Like, everyone, every color. You like the short white girls, Drag. It's these little things that we don't talk about. Short white girls, Drag. <laughs> no, I think we should give reparations out. Fuck it. Why not? See, he admits he has internal biases out of the <laughs> out of the ass. Yeah, we all do. Everybody does. Yeah. What if we try to fucking fix that though? When you start treating people with your bias and thinking it's okay, you got a problem. If there's a bias, then you realize that shit and adjust. Exactly, Mountain Mama. They hit it off as well, Fess. I mean, there you go. So does he. <laughs> I, I, my, my, my focus is on the thighs and butt, but yeah, that's pretty much the same thing. I like. <laughs> Big titty, tiny goth girl, yeah. <laughs> oh, November, she... She said that, um... That she was native after she said... She started talking about this... She, you go into, like, a native, uh... uh place to eat and she got native ranch and we're like what's native ranch like some sort of salad dressing we didn't understand what she was talking about and then she started naming some other native dishes it was a whole thing i i really need to ask renee because she's native so she actually got really offended by her saying all this native stuff and then she turned around and said she never said it typical shanny he can't help it you bring big city goth girls up and he's like yeah, i'll look once He'll look once. All I have to say is this one. Lena the plug. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, she's... That's that's it, dude. And her sex videos are really good. Yeah, I know. I, I'm I not even... Know. Let's just yeah. shut up, Shannon. Yeah. Anyway. See? There's squirting action in her video. Hey, I'll say it right now, man. Shanny is the gaslighter. Who's with me on that? Shanny is the gaslighter. Every so often, Rev will have to say something to disagree with her. I guess when he really, or his ADD or whatever just kicks in and he can't just go along with her lies. But it's usually Shani instigating something to push Rev to be angry, whether now or later on. But I've seen it happen 90% of the time. Like power who's worried. Lena well, is attempted. Lena is attempted vixen for all the yeah, fucking every sexes. every sex exactly. out there. The alien would want her. What's up, Four Lee? Missy. Blood. What's up, Missy? Because <laughs> she's like short and squat. <laughs> like whoa. Um, hey, Missy, remember that native thing? What was she saying about natives and native ranch? I mean, there's so many things she says. I can't. I can't remember it all. But see, I'm like the tall version of that. Yeah, you're the you're the five ten version of her. Yeah, exactly. That's true. But she looks like a jiggly girl. She does. Yeah, she's a big gaslighter. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn it on. The ch Let's push Chantel on. The fucking chat's being turned on. All right, we're done. Here, I'm I, I'm I'm going to fucking like dick switch you. Okay, dick switch you. <laughs> and all I'm saying is, you know, if Rev wasn't really used to man manipulation on this level because he was used to getting everything. Like it's not just leaving him houses and stocks and bonds and money. Then people like this, you know, this should have happened to him a long time ago. Some people call it, you should go out and get beat up more before you get serious about life. But with Rev, it's just been sad, sad, sad trumpet the whole time. <laughs> That's Rev's life. Okay. No, no longer turned on anymore. BB. If you really take a dive into Chantal's content, you'll find that she's led a rather troubling life. She was born to a teen mother and her parents split very early on. They traveled around oh, quite a bit until her mother that. finally married her stepfather. Her stepfather was the primary father figure in her life, as she's mentioned on several occasions that she has abandonment issues from her biological father not sticking around. They are so estranged, in fact, that he has two children who she has never even met. Holy I have shit. Two brothers. My dad has another woman and really? I never met them. Wow. That's so sad. That is sad. I see. I didn't even know this, but again, who 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 knows if this is true or not? One thing about these damn cows is they lie constantly to get their point across. I'm pretty sure they don't even know I exist. Her mother and stepfather had another child. When That's why she does that to men. She, it's her father. 
Freud has some points on things, man. Yeah, like you. I'm just saying. Her father abandoned her, so she doesn't feel like she can keep... Just like your father abandoned you, right? Right? I know, right? Because that is what happened, folks. Her father left the mother because the mother was messing around or something. But they broke up for a while. And then eventually they got back together. I think the guy that she was, the mom was messing around with was the quote unquote friend on Facebook that told Shani that, yeah, your mom's on her deathbed. You probably should go, you know, uh, you know, fix that, um, fix that relationship before it goes, you know, you can't, you know, before it, 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 there's no more chances. Keep connections with people. But, 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 but Freud went too far. Like uh -huh. he's like saying all males have fantasies about their fucking mothers and stuff. And it's disgusting. Yeah. That's, that's what I mean. This is sad how, how her sister is like towards Chantel. It's yeah, so sad I, how disconnected she is yeah, from her family. It is sad. Like they, they pick it on her and they're treating her like shit, but it's like, just examine how they treat her. Like she doesn't exist. Yeah. That, that, that was me. You're deleted. Th that's how my family treats me. Like they don't say anything to me. And, and I'm you're just... in the middle and they ignore you. Yeah. That's like really weird. Oh, yeah. stop. Chantal was 11 years old. In a pinned comment of their family pizza party video in which the sister appears, Chantal says her sibling has a mild learning disability. There are plenty of reasons to doubt what Chantal says just based on her well-known This is bullshit. Down in order to elevate herself. But even if her sister does have a mild learning disability, why mention it? For one, it's no one's business. And two, just watching the video, oh, you would think, you. hey, what's wrong with Everything. that girl? She seems normal. She seems like most of the people that Chantal forces to be in her videos. Uncomfortable and awkward because... Yeah, and my thing, Missy, about all this is, you know she has kids. I know she has kids. She has them taken away. We both of us have kids. I mean, not together, but you know, we, we both have kids. We know the last that we would be fighting tooth and nail to get them back. She's more concerned with keeping the damn cats. I don't get it. Because they don't want to be filmed. Because normal people don't broadcast their entire lives to the internet. According to a former friend of Chantal's named Kathy, Chantal was rather cruel to her young sister during her childhood, claiming, quote, her sister is a sweet girl, wouldn't hurt a fly. She grew up with Chantal telling her she was ugly and dumb. We would be eating and watching movies and... Uh, okay. <laughs> Bring when you come in, bit. just do shitty with a highlighted. <laughs> I'll try to be more aware. <laughs> it doesn't work. It does work, though. I see it better now. It says, redeem highlight my message. A hundred, yeah. Ignored. No, you're not. Let's get back to the video. He was 21. So yeah, yeah, right. Hey, uh, Shani. I know you're watching. I was a mature younger person, but... <laughs> Aside from the obvious fact... You were a mature younger person? What happened? Did you reverse age, Chantel? Because you're... Oh, yeah. Anybody uh, in the chat right now, Shani does watch this. So if you ever have anything you actually want to say to her and, you know, she blocked you, just write it right here in the chat because you ain't blocked. Uh, Shani, you really need to get your life taken care of. Just watching Foodie Beauty all day instead, like dealing with the things you really need to deal with or the things you should be dealing with, actually, you know, because it's your life. You don't want to deal, have uh, the children you brought into this world, then fine. They're probably better off. But still, it's not, it's bad optics. And it's a bad look. It's a bad look that you let that gimp who's sitting next to you, who hit your son, that you still haven't, like, you know, gotten away from him far far away from him brought him back to court anything 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 to show your son that you care about him really immature 38 year old yeah like she <laughs> yeah no younger person is mature i know like maybe she's still in that 15 i'm so mature thing. I, I don't know yeah she hasn't mature changed person doesn't need to call themselves mature it's just like whatever it doesn't fucking matter fact that this man was a predator. He also had a drinking problem and a girlfriend his own age who was pregnant with his child at the time. This woman would routinely have confrontations with a teenage Chantal, once even showing up at her school to try and fight her. I didn't know this guy had a girlfriend that um, who was pregnant with his child. Okay. So she was the other woman of, of already pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> that is scary. Man. Girl, you'll be a woman <laughs> soon. Oh. She's not streaming this now, uh, so she just did a little, like, like, what, like, like an hour or two ago, but this was uh, from today. See, if I wait, then I can fast forward all the dumb stuff, the boring parts. Oh. 
<laughs> Everyone think Patty, she's got a great, uh, uh she's good with the screenshots. A girlfriend who liked to fight. A pregnant girlfriend who likes to fight. But she was older. She was in her uh, mid-twenties. So anyways, this girl tried to make my life hell when she found out about me. Like, why don't you attack him? Why me? I didn't know. You know, this is why it's hard for me to cover Beauty Beauty because I always, it always, I always have to remind myself of her for D chess. She's Shanny. I just know she's full of it. Whatever she says comes out of her mouth. Full of it, folks. But Foodie Beauty, she it doesn't pretend to be a drama channel or drama community or girl world, whatever, whatever you want to call it. She pretends to be a weight loss channel, but by this food, it's more like a mukbang channel or mukbang channel. So between that and then her inserting drama, it's like, no, you're another one that you're trying to be a different channel, but you are secretly another drama channel disguised as a whatever channel. But you know what? She's It's made it work for her because she's got, well, like 100,000 subs. And then I heard this ain't the first time that she was uh, demonetized. I don't believe you, you know? But... At that point, I was already like really in love with him, and or so I thought. Well, big surprise, you fall for people. I was like, she was saying about it. Like, <laughs> Look, he's so hot. <laughs> oh my god, he's so hot. He's my soulmate because he's so hot. He's my soulmate because he's, so he's, soulmate he's so hot. Are you sixteen still? What? Because I don't know about you, honey, but like a girl for me could be really hot, right? And I'll go, okay, you're hot, right? Yeah. She talks ten or twenty minutes, and it's either, <laughs> okay, I like that personality too, or no. Yeah. The personality is before the looks. It is. Same with me. The looks might make you look. Yeah. But then 10 or 20 minutes later, your problem. I uh, this advice from a man that's only been with Shani and uh many, many uh silicone uh, doll torsos. In a lot of cases. What a lucky guy what a lucky uh gal for whoever gets that guy. Because you're gonna go. <laughs> yeah. Me and you though was insta connect. Yeah, because we believe the same things, we're into the same shit. We yeah, I bet. Yeah, remember when we used to do shows together? It was completely platonic. <laughs> we were platonic at that time, right? Yeah. And we did yeah. shows together. And, like, people, like a lot of people like watching us. Yeah. Because we just <laughs> fucking like clicked like radio hosts together. Exactly. That's why Greg wanted you to do it. They show. clicked. Yeah. You know, you're very good like that. You're like Robin Quivers. That's true. You're, <laughs> you're fast and smart. You have to be in this business. Yeah. You can't be slow. You gotta be fast. It's not. It's not like. Never do that now. But when you're young and dumb, right? You are fast, so Shady. But you want to get and, slappy. You're yeah, really fast. School, tried to beat me up. She would see me on the street. She would freak out on me. The tension in Chantal's household was understandably high during this time. She'd been seeing several child psychologists due to a plethora of behavioral yeah. issues with little effect. <laughs> According to her, she didn't think she needed any kind of treatment. She was just a spoiled brat, which, to her credit, is partially true. To this day, she displays the traits of a petulant child. I think I just had, like, spoiled brat syndrome. Whether she thought she needed them or not, her opinion didn't stop doctors from prescribing her antidepressants. Well, you're a troubled adult too, Chantal. Like, see, this, like, there's nothing, like, this is what... Yeah, the time. It also doesn't stop Chantal from using her mental health issues as a scapegoat for her abhorrent behavior, while simultaneously refusing to follow through with any kind of therapy, which she has sought out and quit countless times in what many believe is an abuse of Canada's free healthcare system. One night, she got into an argument with her mother. She wanted to go stay the night with her boyfriend, the 21-year-old predator. Obviously, her mother refused. Chantal, angry about not getting her way, decided to fake a suicide attempt. I emptied out half my bottle of, um, I think it was Zoloft I was on, antidepressants or something. It didn't work. So, I showed her with the bottle and I said, I'm gonna kill myself. I took half the bottle. Oh, here we go. Cue the violence. And I hadn't. I really didn't. Her intentions then were the same as they are today. Purely selfish. You know, I, I never- Manipulate her mother like that. I feel so bad for her mom. Yes. Oh. What about yours? I think corn dogs, uh, Cheeto, Machete for her mom fried through. mozzarella cheese, and it looks like Cheetos. She used to do this all the time. This used to be her show. I knew that gave me power for writing that. I wanted to hurt people. Her mother rushed her to the hospital in a bit to save her life, she and when the nurse told her she had to drink an activated charcoal mixture in order to neutralize the drugs in her system, she became worried that the charcoal would hurt her if no drugs were in her system, so she ran into the hospital bathroom and actually took, quote, some pills. So in the bathroom, I actually took some pills. 
Not if I'll just drink the charcoal. I believe she's being intentionally ambiguous here in order to make the viewer think that she had actually taken a dangerous dose, but in reality, it was probably no more than two or three at most. I'm surprised that Shani can't see exactly what she does to her viewers, like scares them into thinking that she took some medication that she didn't take, you know, just for the lols, as they say. And it's weird that they can't, they can't pick up each other's thing that they do, and they also can't take each other's advice, or they can't take their own advice. After she confessed this to the nurse, they decided to keep her in the hospital for a few days. Ironically, her hospital roommate was a young girl suffering from severe anorexia, hooked up to feeding tubes due to her dire situation. The girl's family would bring her all sorts of food, and well, I'm sure you could guess what happened next. But anyway, I had said to her at some point, are you gonna eat those candies? And I think she kind of caught on because she, like, she gave them to me. She gave me her candies. After her stay at the hospital was over, they decided to send her to a psychiatric retreat. So you took an anorexic girl's candies. <laughs> that she's supposed to eat. Well, thank you. What a fucking fat pig. Oh, really? November? She blocked you for that? I mean, you know what? I get it. people being like child abuser, blah, blah, blah. But, like, if people like you and especially Patty have legitimate questions and you gotta like throw some bits out to get to get an answer then you get the answer i think that's worth it you know otherwise you won't get an answer or sometimes if you're just having questions that aren't really digging into her she's too she has so much uh thin skin she, you know for her to be online she just doesn't want to answer anything at all even with the kiddest glove of a question like, that is so fucked up that she took candy from an anorexic girl when she was supposed to eat it. You're shaking, dude. Yeah, yeah he's probably hungry. Really Poor Rev. I, I just can't believe it. I can't believe that. I've never stolen candy from anyone, Jane. Get off my channel, you stupid fucking idiot. <laughs> Fuck. Never st I would never steal candy from someone and, and take candy from an anorexic girl with a feeding tube. No, I don't think you would. <laughs> <laughs> a feeding tube. Yeah, it'd be easy for her. Fuck. Well, we don't know where, where you know, your food addiction lies, how, you know, where the line is. If, you know, if you can only get it when you have the money or if you're just going to get it if it, a moment's notice comes to you. How are we supposed to know, folks? Right? Your kids are starving. Well, For you, you hopefully they're not anymore. Actually mentally Ill, as opposed to being a spoiled brat. Who there we go. Through a little temper tantrum like she did. I did not belong there, guys. I had too much schoolwork there. Every single other person, person there was absolutely fucking Looney Tunes. Like, really out to lunch. Like, I stole liquor and, and pretended to kill myself. These people, like, oh my god. So she devised a plan to escape, which was, in her own words, to manipulate her grandmother into coming to take her out. My plan was to run away and call my grandmother because I knew my grandma didn't know I was there. And this is bad, but I knew I could manipulate my grandmother into feeling bad and not making me go back there. After what she had just put her mother through, you would think that she would feel enough shame to not abuse the kindness of another loved one. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, Chantel, because you want to manipulate people to get what you want, that's why you need therapy. Even try to do it with Nader by giving him money and saying, please, fake love me. Like... Again, I love it. I love like all this fake love me and everything, and and even Shannon here, the police, and she's peeking through the, the the curtain. No, that's that's extra special for me. It's it's crap, folks. It's BS because the people who have the worst uh, relationship. I would say is them two here. I don't know, man. If I was Rev and I had to wipe Shannon's polyps, that's to me that's a deal breaker and a boner breaker. <laughs> I ate 10 sheep sausages. I think I'm in a food coma.
all you had to do was fake love me. Yeah, exactly. That's so fucked up to ask someone to do. Like, how do you yeah. fake love someone? I've know. never heard that ever. I don't know what that looks like. I do this every time I hear a siren. Mm -hmm. Or if I, or you, you see me walking, you'll see me do this a lot to certain people. Mm -hmm. He does it too. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It is. Constant prayers, man. Keep it going. Keep it going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. God. And again, people like this. This is why there's, you know, there's, I mean, there's several problems with a lot of these uh, organized religions, even the Catholic Church, you know, all that stuff. I mean, I'm, I'm not blind to it. I see it. But uh, people like this also make the problem. You know, like take something that, you know, just as much as belief doesn't have to be into anything, just anything other than yourself, and then make it nuts where no one just wants to join i hate that because i figured well, there's more normal people in one of these in these groups they wouldn't it wouldn't look so bad so soon but she will always use whatever resources she has at hand to try and get her way regardless of the impact on others in any case it right mike my husband right? exes outcasts that walk in his path are quite superstitious in her family oh okay are you blessing the chat amen i'm mm -hmm. blessed the chat bless the chat hell yeah y'all blessings today man Great man i'm doing awful amen. today with this <laughs> Can't trim the tree any more than it is, man. Tree's pretty trimmed, right? Yeah. Worked. However, Chantal's mother would not allow her to come home, so she was placed in a group home for teens with nowhere to go, which would set her on a path of alcohol and drug abuse, partying, and sexual promiscuity. Behaviors that no doubt exacerbated her already underlying addiction to food. Chantal okay, okay, okay. Well, at least now I feel like I think that's why Foodie Beauty is still kind of monetized to this day on youtube not just twitch youtube and shani is where she is on her low uh follow on twitch if she would have just maybe legitimately had the problems that i guess foodie beauty have if this is what they're saying is true i don't know i'm just you know speculating from what i'm hearing maybe when it actually happens to you you know how to live life because you know it can be all taken away at a moment's notice where Shani, I feel like there is no F's given to whatever's going on in her life. Like, oh well, had Rev figure it out. Tall herself has speculated that her food addiction may be hereditary, as her father was out of the picture due to his alcoholism. She's also suggested that he may suffer from an addiction to food as well, and that many in her family eat for comfort. Yeah, that was a hard couple weeks though before. Food was, you know, my whole family had, has issues with food. Hey, Patty, how far does this one go to? Comfort. See, she's listening to the comments and it's already getting to her head. Like, I could show you how she fucking just... It made her worse. The comments and the intention, it made her worse. Yeah, you lost 40 pounds though, Drag. Good job, man. Blessed be, chat, I raise my wine. There we go. <laughs> blessed be. Blessed, blessed be. Blessed be, all day. <laughs> up, up, ass, yeah. No, no, sorry. I was like a, two months ago. Hey, dumbass. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, beat it. Uh, <laughs> beat it. <laughs> beat it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking so brain breaking. Yeah, they gotta get a soundboard, I, I swear. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> <coughs> I will always love Beavis and Butthead. Beavis and Butthead is a shit. Forever. When he found out I love Beavis and Butthead, he was like... Yeah, uh, Mike, he's he's good at uh, getting these done in short segments. I try to watch more of them, but like, I just hate watching like when she's doing the videos. But it's it's always good to get the short segments out. That's a good way to get uh get seen. But I I was thinking in this in the somewhat uh, future, I want to do a couple collabs this year. And I was I see that people watch him as much as they watch me. And I was thinking, may I can invite him to come on stream for a day, and you know we could do something. But I don't know. We we will see about that. The angel choir like. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's the right one. Oh, hey, Ginger, what's up? She's the one. I've loved Beavis and Butthead my whole life. Yeah, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you watched Idiocracy last night? Nice. That's a great movie. That's a great one. Awesome. Have we snuggled up and watched Little Nicky yet? Yeah, we've done that together. Yeah, a few months ago. Yeah, months ago. <coughs> we were supposed to watch Little Nicky again, but we didn't. Oh, yeah. We watched other shit. What were we watching last night? I don't know. Between the uh, and the drum mean. Oh, okay. Bundy. Oh, yeah, we were Bobby. looking up the I think interviews. it's called, uh, it's I, called Running Out. Interview. Drag, what I was talking about, I need to, I, I need to let Ted Bundy speak for me, okay? What? But we'll do that after this. Okay. Beware drag. Be be very self-aware of yourself. You'll see when it comes on. During happy times with family gatherings, you know? From her earliest days, her fondest memories are of food, enjoying visiting her grandfather because he always had candy, and being scolded by her grandmother for eating too much and asking for more. And she's really French. All I remember is always wanting God, I was right. like Piggy Mouth Kid, what a surprise, right? Yeah. Okay. Drag, do you think calling yourself a psychopath would actually intimidate me, bro? Dude. Well, you, you have, you have. I don't think you like, like, listen, listen, listen. My spirit is uh -oh. the spirit of Elijah, okay? Uh, bro. Whatever that means. I can turn water into fire, bro. <laughs> yes, and, and, and God is her her mafia man when, when someone messes with her. All she has to say is, God, take them out. And then something happens. You got to watch out for Shannon. She's like the Jesus witch. You think a psychopath's going to fucking intimidate me? I don't think so, man. I got God and legions of angels, bro. Don't mess with the queen. Literally sitting here playing World of Warcraft watching you guys. I wonder what CPS thinks when she says stuff like that. Nikki, what's up, Nikki? Long time, a little bit. How you doing? But really, I wonder what CPS is like. Um, Great. Yeah, just keep that, that high spirits. Make sure the kids never come back here. Ever. Guys, <laughs> fine. Good. Good. Farm that shit. Yeah, you, you kick that ass. Grinding and farming. Exactly. Get that energy out onto Warcraft. That's positive, sociopathic, psychopathic <laughs> energy being released. <laughs> My shaman is inspired by you guys' motivation. <laughs> I'm down with that. You farm it and you grind it. Right. He doesn't like grinding. Right. Ew. Grinding. Stop it, Rev. <laughs> no, we're not talking about nipple play. And she yelled at me because I asked her for um, another pudding. I kept asking her for snacks and she got mad at I kept asking her for snacks and I was being a real pig and fucking eating her whole house out oh. and she was getting mad at me. <laughs> wow, look who's talking. <laughs> PS5 sucks. No. Lord of Funny Bees. I do not. Oh. It's a fucking Sunday, bro. Who has a doctor appointment on a fucking Sunday? How long have you been in your basement? <laughs> hey, Eric Snova, what's up? Yes, I'm no self-awareness, exactly. I could be such a troll sometimes, I swear to fucking God. Why not? Queen troll, haha, <laughs> the goblin queen. That is one of my titles, the Goblin Queen. That's true. It actually came from Drag. He called me the Queen oh, of Goblins. No problem. And I was like, you know what? I'm fucking taking that shit. That is Drag. Yup. No problem. <laughs> All right. The Shanty woke up feisty today. Yeah, I actually got sleep. That was great. Didn't wake up to pee at all. Because I actually have a, another, one more video. That'll be my palate cleanser for the night. A new locale. Ain't that fun? Yay. <laughs> She's like, yeah. <laughs> you just had a snack. Why are you sad? Chantal tells many stories of her time at the group home, all of them full of debauchery, the last place any parent should send their young daughter. She's shown the home in one of her vlogs, and quite frankly, it looks like a crack house. I think it speaks volumes about how that- You can't say that looks like a crack house. Come on. It's in a nice neighborhood, dude. It's just an older house. Yeah. That's that's reaching, dude. That's fucking reaching, bro. And I you see now, Shanny, because she has to live in them. She's like, that's a decent place. What are you talking about? I have her own.
Anyway. And Chantal was the child that her mother would resort to sending her to this place. One of these stories in particular sticks out to me, and that's the story of Big G. Oh, who's that? See, I, I still don't know a, a lot. I don't know a lot about Foodie Beauty's uh, beginning lore, but like again, she's just so she's another emotional vampire. Big G was a man who Chantal led on one summer in exchange for drugs and a place to party. She's unsure whether he had some sort of disability or not, but in my experience, if you have to ask yourself that question, then the answer is probably yes. I let him on. I, I was nice to him. I made him think that we, we might have something. I used to ask him to get me weed, marijuana, <laughs> and in return for him to find me some weed, <laughs> prostitute. Think about it. I led him on. So this dude thought they were in love. Mm. What a fucking... I remember these stories, some of them. Like, I... I... Deliberately leading guys on and shit to get what you want. I could never do that shit. What? What are you doing now, you liar? Yeah, that's true. People do it every day. Poor Rev. So I was really thinking what to say to you to encourage you when you were so scared of attending your doctor's appointment, but I'll remind that you have the spirit of Elijah next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you yeah, go. right? That'll work. <laughs> That'll be like, ah, oh, fuck, I have to go. <laughs> I mean, imagine that, folks. You're hoping that you have cancer so you can milk it online and also get a marijuana car in your state. <laughs> Priorities, folks. <laughs> oh, a spa day between the two of us. Oh, I mean, that's what I would love you to get that. No, I would love for you to get it too. We both relax together. It'll be romantic. We get a massage together and be like, and we'll look at each other's eyes while we get a massage and yeah. we'll get be like, oh. Rev's eyes will be curled back in his head. No, like that. Yeah, back. crossed. Oh. <laughs> that might be nice. Something he quivers. Just did that for the camera. Yeah. Sings praises, looks for affirmations, and barks out loud <laughs> like a seal. I'm surprised he wasn't clapping and balancing on a ball on his nose. It's so weird. You feel better you said that, dude? Clapping seal. <laughs> I just agree a lot with her. <laughs> Holy fuck. I wonder if he also, besides, because he wipes her butt, he also has to like wash her or give her sponge baths. You guys analyze way too much. That must you... drive your fucking mind crazy when you're like analyzing someone in such a deep and stupid level. You tell us way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Lighten up, asshole. Lighten up. <laughs> What's Rev's PayPal here? No, don't do it. Don't Boop. PayPal them. Boop. There All right. Go. Well, I think that's more just a, more of that. So, uh, I'm gonna be done with uh with with this one for now. But uh, one more video. So this one's a, a new locale. Her name's Adrastia. I've heard about her quite a bit. And I've been kind of watching her for a while. So I wanted to play uh, some of this. And I just want to show the new people out here. Right, there's 158 of you. Please uh, sub if you're not. And like on the way out. I do appreciate it. Um, but I want to show you guys this. And Adrasia is another cow that can't control herself. You know what I mean? She can't control what she says. She can't control what she does. Even though it's up to a person to tell another person... Who are you? Where you live? And you know what? If you're gonna do this to make money, you should probably lock your stuff, lock your your stuff down before you even start. That's just a good FYI, a good tip, you know. Quickly talk about my mother because it keeps being brought up in my comments, and I want anybody new who might come along to kind of see both sides of the story. Oh yeah, I know, Kay. Because in my comments. <laughs> They're saying that I killed my mother. And now I'm going to... And you know what? I'm sure she's going to come after me, but whatever. I'm not going to talk about her. I'm not going to talk to her to her face, you know? I'll just watch the videos. Kill Adonis Paul. Kill everybody. They've been accusing me of being responsible for my mother's death since my mother passed away. That's a very interesting cut she has, I just want to say. <laughs> me and my mother did not have a good relationship again she who cares alcoholic. 
and she was being abused heavily while I was growing up. Yeah, people really need to stop with the the internet is my free uh, therapist where I get donations and stuff. Like, no, that's not how that works. You keep that stuff to yourself. Tell a a, a, a ther a actual therapist so this doesn't have to get leaked and then used against you when you actually say something dumb and then show where you live. And after my father killed himself and freed her of that abuse, she oh, this chose ain't, to marry say, this another is man who another abused one. her and remain an alcoholic and a drug addict. And I know alcoholism is a disease and it's hard. She had choices. She chose the alcohol every time. I can remember at least once when she was beat specifically because she went to the store and bought alcohol instead of food. You know, people like this, I've met the, the people that they say is their so-called uh, stalkers and this and that. Normally these people are really cool. Um, usually they're the ones doing this crap and makes them talk about them. But you, if you could say to this person, hey, can you chill out maybe we can start over usually nine out of ten they're like yeah well that that's fine or we just choose not to talk about each other i think people like adrastia she takes everything personal and then it turns it about you know she's a constant victim so it doesn't matter what um uh, anyone who, who uh, reacts to her says because she has to have that victimhood After my grandmother passed away, I never spoke to my mother again. I was homeless for five years, and that woman never reached out to comfort her child that was living in a tent on a sidewalk. Well, whose fault is that? How and old I was are you? Right there, right here, on YouTube, on Facebook. My entire family has been able to contact me the entire time. They chose to watch me suffer homeless. Night, Charlie. They didn't come out to say anything to me until I published my book and they got angry and wanted to fight me because I told my story. Oh, I'm sure it was more I, than your story. I'm sure it was also their story. Come on, why can't they? I swear, these cows always have the same thing in common. They always need to uh leave out intricate details important details that makes people mad at them but they're always in this constant victimhood and another thing folks that makes you yeah, you can tell someone's a cow right away the craziest uh allegations they'll talk about and people, you'll be like really this person's doing this to your to your kids, your your brother's grave, they're, they're they're peeing on it, like really, and there's like never any proof of that. Of course, there's never any videos of it. It's all speculation. Oh, these people, nothing. My mother owed me a safe childhood that she didn't deliver. I don't owe her anything. Last year, well, the year before now, it's 2023. I received word that she was sick and she was dying and she needed an organ. Well, well, Patty says here, like the fact that her family tried to get her mental help and she went nuts. Wow. Well, I didn't know about that. So to me, this is definitely like another Letitia love notes of TLC um, situation where the family's trying what they need to do, just like with TLC, love notes from TLC. They get get these people off the Internet. Don't give them a cell phone. Give them a flip phone. Give them no internet access. You know, it's like almost they're a danger to themselves because it's. I, I'm not going to use mental illness as a way to like, oh, you can't say nothing to me. I'm mentally ill. Like, no. So you could say the worst racist, most disgusting thing, uh, death threat to me, and I have to take that because you're mentally ill? No, get out of here. And I made a video saying that if she would talk to me, I would give her what she needed. In exchange for an honest conversation 
with my mother about my childhood, I would give her either a kidney or a part of my liver, whatever it is Wh she what? was needing. That's nuts. And my family either didn't tell her that that was an option, or she chose death over that conversation. Because the next thing I heard was that she had died. And it was my fault for not just giving her my organ, like any decent human being would wow. have done. I don't, I don't believe any of this. Just, just to throw that out here. I don't believe any of this. What do I owe to a woman who literally abandoned me at birth and never tried to connect with me? He never tried to love me and would not even have a conversation with me to save her own life. My mother began drinking at 13 years old. It is not my fault that she died at 59. <laughs> and it is garbage that so many people believe it is my fault. For a year, I've been harassed and accused of murdering my mother. And again, no one know any of this if she didn't just throw this out here. Maybe on one platform, and that doesn't mean it's on all platforms. I think these people that try to reinvent themselves every once in a while, that would be more of a positive thing, you know, than a negative. Because I would not let somebody cut me open and take out one of my vital organs for her. What? For a woman who was never going to speak to me again after the operation. It's the same as a stranger on the street. Would you give a vital organ to a stranger on the street for nothing? Just walk away from them and barely even know their name afterwards? Well, I just cut 10 years off of my life, but I'm a good person and that's what good people do. That's Jesus would not have done that. Okay. You know, they, they always call this stuff like, you know, mental illness. Blah, 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 low cow. But I really feel... Oh. Sorry. Um, I call it something more. You know, it's... I think it's... Instead of it being a low cow, it's... Being around people online that cause you to have this type of mental illness. But I'm sure there's already mental illness to start. Uh, okay. Let me show another one. So, like I said, she's talking about people that were peeing on her brother brother's grave site. So, I don't know if that's true, but uh, I'll show some of these videos. So, I'm out walking for Bubba today, and I noticed this art installation that I've walked past before but not taken a look at. It's called In the Eye of the Storm, and it's been here since 2002. It says, to symbolize the process and human dimensions of the 911 system, this public art program is comprised of the following elements. Origins, dilemmas, color location hey, codes, place incident codes inscribed on the plaza. The vortex is a seemingly chaotic array of elliptical columns with dark polished surfaces to reflect the city in a malevolent... No. Why can I not speak? Because you have a mental illness. A glass cylinder with inscriptions suggesting the interface between... Uh. I was trying to find the one where she talks about her brother. Uh, oh, and she does play a lot of old games, by the way. Okay, so, woke up this morning to a bunch of comments uh, yelling at me because Adonis Paul apparently got a strike on his channel yesterday for bullying. And these were all these were all taken. She makes a bunch of videos in succession every day. Is it my fault that this bully has received a strike for bullying? This man brags that he regularly deletes his videos so that people can't come back mad at him and put a strike on his channel because they're mad. And I'll just tell people, folks, if somebody is guessing that you uh, strike their channel and then you make a video on it, uh, it looks like you strike their channel. Just saying. If there wasn't anything in your video that was strike worthy, it would not have received the strike. Okay? And you made the video, sir. You published it. You made it. You picked out all of the, all of the people you wanted to make fun of in it. You picked out all of the degradatory words you wanted to say in it. 
Yeah. You did that entirely on your own. I believe that, Katie. And now I believe you've got that your no hundreds of thousands of screaming fans attacking the victim in the situation. Like I said, I feel like it's like a Shanny thing as well. It's like, was she like this already at birth or did, did people make her like this? Because you faced repercussions for something that you knew was wrong when you did it and you knew yeah, right, Patty? could result in, you don't a, need to do that. in a, a strike or a ban. You know all of these things and yet every time this happens, it's the victim you're attacking who you accuse and then send people to attack further to punish. Here's the problem though. I didn't report you. I never report you. We've had this discussion because the first year this started, I thought reporting was going to save me. And I reported your ass. And All you right, then you I admit it. You. And then every time somebody reported you after that, I was <laughs> accused and you came after me harder because I reported you even though I stopped. Because I realized well, it was good night, to make Mama. The abuse Thanks worse. for uh, hanging out. Reporting makes the abuse worse for the victim because it angers the abuser. The abuser doesn't want to be seen doing what they are doing. So yeah, a lot of this is yeah. Let's bring it up a little bit. It's a lot of the same stuff. She's just she's another one that can be. That's why it's it's taking me. I've known about her for a while, but like a lot of time, I didn't think she was interesting. But now these one about these people are attacking my brother's grave. Like I I just don't believe it. So, but I think I want to have her on every once in a while as a featured locale. Even when Leticia comes back, I want to start covering that because she'll be back and probably sleep in her car again. Including my own family. And I wake up to this in my head every day. And then it's not just in my head. Six o'clock, yeah. <laughs> with actual real people saying it. And he'll say, well, I'm not a real person. I'm a cartoon. Motherfucker, there's a real person behind that cartoon. There's a real person running that channel. It is not a cartoon character running a YouTube channel. It is a real human being behind the character. Yeah, I agree, Chris. Yes, a cartoon character can destroy somebody's morale. What the fuck does it matter if it's animated or if you're showing your ugly face to say these things? You're still saying the same hurtful words to the same weak person day after day after day after day after year after year after year. You're gonna come at me and tell me I'm worthless. Everybody hates me. Nobody wants to watch my videos. Nobody watches me. Everybody laughs at me. Well, that's not a lie. You know, you're not getting like a thousand views, two thousand subs. That, that that that's always funny. These people that have two thousand subs and like like a hundred views. Like, how does that work out, folks? How does that work out? I don't get it. it but. That's true. No one's really watching you because you're just, you think everyone's against you. It's like this weird dynamic where they think everyone's against them and they have to just keep fighting back, which to me, I think is a mistake. If you just let it go, I think most people would leave people alone like this. But I don't know. I really need to find out more about what she also has done. I know she's done a lot of messed up stuff and called uh, people and stuff. I mean, they all do, they all dox, you know? Fuck me. And no. you come in and say, well, but we're <laughs> taking these videos you just made. And we're going to profit off of them. Yeah. But you got to do better. Because we're not making as much profit off of you as we used to. It was never for you to profit off of. This channel has always been for me. It's my life. It's I started when I was therapy. To show what life as a homeless, mentally ill person was. It wasn't for you no, to take thanks. and make fun of and laugh at. Ha <laughs> look at the homeless person. Look at the homeless bitch. She shits in bowls and lives in trucks. She's worthless. Let's laugh at her. It what? You what? What? what and what about in trucks? What? Ew. Why are you pooping bowls? Just poop on outside. It's biodegradable. Damn. It wasn't meant for that. But that's what it became <laughs> because Adonis Paul and his friends took it. And that's what they see as humor. That's funny to them. It's funny to them to hold fundraisers to urinate on a handicapped boy's grave. It's funny to them to intimidate. Yo, what is this? I spit on your grave? I swear, all these little cows, folks, they watch a horror movie or something, and now that's their life. Whether it's Shanny with a, uh, I don't know, uh, what is it called? A full metal jacket Shanny, or her with I spit on your grave, or whatever the, the hell that movie was called. The, the person was peeing on the grave, and they came out of the grave. It's bullcrap. It's victimhood. Feel sorry for me because get, they think that nobody else is going through what they're going through, what we're all going through it. And until these cows understand that, they, you know, I'll never have any sympathy for them. 
and antagonize a mentally ill person. Personal opinion, of course. It's funny to them to push somebody to hurt themselves and then say it's just felt pin. Oh, stop. Another one. Look at this. I hate that. I hate this. Shady does this. For all I know, uh, you have a cat. Okay? What's to tell me that, like, five minutes before you were making this stream, you just ran up on your cat you're off? You know, I don't know. That could have happened. That looks like cat scratches. And this would be cat scratch fever then. <laughs> I've gotten so upset that I've cut myself on live stream over them before. And they took that footage and they laughed you know, heartily maybe... and said I was using a marker. I'm just trying to break it down for new people to understand. Like, these people love to double speak, backhand comment because they're all wimps. They can't tell you anything to their face. Uh, everything, you know, constant victimhood. And I'm like, I'm going to break it down and show why they are doing or acting like this. Why, why what's driving them in their head to, to think that this is okay? Because that's what their humor is. Thanks, Mindy. They take my reality and they <laughs> shift it and they twist it into something ugly and dirty. Her girl was fine. Yeah, right? Exist. That'd be great. And for the last two years, that's what my life has been. Yeah, right? Well, she's, uh, what, the same uh, energy as, what was her name? Andrea? Right? I mean, who knows if she's going to screw a bunch of guys on, on the Greyhound bus on the way to Vaughn. That would be interesting again. And I'm tired of it. But I'm still not the one that reported you. Because I'm scared to report you. Because I'm scared of what you can do to me. After the last two years that you've made me miserable, I know what you can do to me. And I am scared. That's why I keep begging out for somebody to hear me. Because I am scared. You have 12,000 followers that are willing to hurt me on your behalf, and I am oh, scared. Oh, stop. Lies. But I'm not the one that's reported you. All right. Well, that's it. Uh, yeah, she is definitely a featured cow that I will definitely be looking at into future streams because now she's been uh, piquing my interest. And like I said, there's also the Latiti when she gets out of jail. That's going to be fun. And there's also whatever's going to happen with Shani and Rev in the meantime and G Man and maybe some Von Hell in the future. Who knows? But that is it for tonight. Thank you all for hanging out. It's about 152. Please, please, please like and please sub. 37%. What are you doing? Come on. You know you yo, you know you want to be here. It's just the funnest, chillest fucking place here. We have a lot of fun, and I really want to thank my members. Shout out to all you members. Shout out to all you uh mods. Uh thank you for doing what you do. And thank you to my MB MVPs, including Crash, Patty, Philly Guy, um, and everybody else that just comes in and just makes this chat more cool. You know, it doesn't matter how many times we watch these videos. We watch them together. We make jokes. And that's what it's all about. Community, family. I love it. And that's it. I'm just going to let you guys go. I will see you on the next one, probably Tuesday. And that's it. Be good to yourselves. And remember, Draven loves you. <laughs> I'll see you. Bye, folks. Ha <laughs> ha.